What's up? Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. This is your girl, Mina. Thank you for joining me today. Coming to you guys with another cleaning video. We are starting in the master bathroom. If you watched my last cleaning video, I did mention some things about my master bathroom that you guys will see a little later on in the video. But yes, so today we are just focusing on cleaning and a little bit of organizing, which you will see me do downstairs of our place so you know sit back enjoy and if you are new here i just want to say thank you for clicking on this video and if you're already part of the fam you already know what's up i really do appreciate your continued support and if you recently joined the mdd family you already know hello my name is mina and i truly appreciate you choosing my channel as one to be on your subscriber list so I'll be popping in and out just to kind of share some things with you guys, some tips and tricks and things that I'm doing. And yeah. So as you just saw, I was actually sweeping from within the bedroom. I love to sweep just any type of debris I see on the floor from the carpet into the bathroom. If I do see it, I just think it's just a little bit easier to clean up in the bathroom on tile. So I definitely do that. And you saw this in my last video. I like to spray my floor before I Swiffer. And actually I'm spraying a Lysol spray right now, honey. We don't like germs. We don't need germs, <laughs> okay? Now it's time to Swiffer, and these are the Swiffer pads that I use. And I do like the Swiffer because it's definitely convenient. But what I don't like is when I'm Swiffering a little bit too aggressively and, um, you know, the little pad starts coming off. You know what I'm saying? It happened in this video and it happened in the last. But you just have to keep on pushing. I do want to purchase a mop. There's definitely some house cleaning tools and items that I want to purchase as in I want to purchase a vacuum cleaner because technically you're not supposed to sweep carpet yeah my husband told me that go figure so yeah I mean I'm a sweeper I love to sweep but I would love to purchase a vacuum cleaner just for efficiency So as you see when I'm Swiffering, you do see that the floor is kind of turning white. So that's why I like to spray something down first because it creates some suds. And I, that really lets me know that it's really clean, okay? I love to see that whiteness show up on the floor because it just lets me know that my products are working, okay? So now we're moving to the countertop here. See you guys i've already mentioned that i love using towels hand towels specifically i love using to clean with so here i'm just organizing my side of the counter top Now I'm just wetting the sink because I am going to put this right here in the sink to clean. I've used this last time. You guys already know. Here you see me spraying the Lysol spray on my natural fiber cloth. I love using this to clean with because it's rough and I know it's going to get any type of debris and build up on the counter. Now the reason why I sprayed it is because I am in the bathroom. We have toothbrushes out. We have different skincare products out and I don't want that chemical to get in the air and get on those items. And 
and now you see I'm taking one of my towels and I'm just wiping down the countertop now this is a granite countertop so I really don't like my granite countertops to be wet because that's not good for the granite okay so I like to dry them off but here you see that I am now working on the actual base of the sink and I'm just wiping off the doors honey these crevices get so dirty okay So here's the finished product of me just cleaning off that lower half of the counter. And now it's time, honey, to tackle this sink right here. Okay, and so we cleaned that out. And now I'm putting this Downy Unstoppables in there, honey. This is a trick to make your bathroom smell delicious, okay? Run you some hot water, put those in there, and it's going to smell amazing. And it's just going to permeate through the air. Your room's going to smell good. Your closet's going to smell good, girl. Everything's going to smell good, okay? But here we are laying down this carpet now. I've mentioned this carpet in my last cleaning video. I picked it up from Home Goods, and I am absolutely obsessed with it. I love the way it looks, and I'll be giving you guys a more close-up look soon. But I want to go back and get another one because, honey, it's beautiful. Look at this. I love it. And, yeah, so here is the finished product of our master bathroom. I absolutely love it. stairs <laughs> let me tell you something okay now stairs is something else we have shoes we have bags we just need to get it together okay so this is a bag of things that were in my car that don't need to be in there okay you're gonna see some things come out of this bag that may shock you sis but it's okay okay i'm going to get to that when you see it but i'm just taking out the shoes that need to go up in my closet or that just need to be downstairs or just need to be stored away so yes you see to the right that's a wig sis <laughs> that's a wig yes the things that are in my car all right here you see me putting in some winter boots i don't need those right now so i'm going to put those in this bag i am now going to put that bag in this closet and yes this is like a storage closet for us I'm just organizing my shoes to kind of just figure out, okay, what needs to go upstairs and what can stay downstairs. So downstairs are pretty much just our quick grab and go type of shoes. So slides or any type of sneakers that we just put on just when we're going out the house to go somewhere or run errands. So before I get to organizing that, we are taking these scarves down and we are putting them away. Yes, I am storing these in the closet. I just put those on the rack in there and here i'm just organizing my side of the cube and everything i found i found chapstick honey i've been looking for the chapstick where was it it was down here okay but you see me putting some tennis shoes in here now some of these are workout shoes and some of these are just grab and go you see i put a couple of pair of vans in there vans are definitely my favorite grab and go type of sneaker they match with everything and i just love the look of them so you will see me put those in there and then i just have some other sneakers that that are in there that i can just grab whenever however and they're just at my convenience so that is my side and then i'm just showing you guys shoes that need to go up in the closet that shouldn't be down here to be honest and now on my upper right that's where i'm going to store my sandals which i absolutely love and just a quick way to store your sandals put the heels in the back of the sandal to store it just makes it so space effective and so here i'm just showing some vans that i need to actually wash and then here's my husband's side look at this 
he has no shoes in his side, honey, okay? Absolutely none, but he has these LeBrons, just uses grab-and-go shoes, so I put those up there. He has dress shoes down here, child. He just got everything that don't need to be down here, okay? And so here are some other tennis shoes I'm just putting down there for him that he just grabbed, and honey, I smell those shoes, and those shoes are a disaster. He really needs to throw those away, but honey, you know, we're just gonna put those to the side. My husband actually cleaned this area, so he swiffered it and swept it and things like that. So I was so appreciative of that, honey. But I was tired, okay? But I just wanna say thank you guys for joining me today. I truly appreciate you guys' support. And please don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And also, share this video with your friends, your family, your associates. And you know what? I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye! Bye. Thank you.